Hey there, my name is Promise, and welcome to more Age of Darkness Final Stand. We just survived against our fourth Death Knight, which we triggered a little bit early over here. And uh, weirdly enough, it was actually the easiest run we've had so far. Easiest wave, because the flamers are just that stinking good. And as long as you have enough archers, arbalists, and ballista tower to back them up, you can clear out just about anything. That's ultimately what we want to see happen with every single wave in the end game. There are going to be five waves that spawn after us, and we need to have this level of defense at each one. Actually, we need a little bit more than that, believe it or not. Because there's only one situation that I can think of that is still able to get me killed, right? And that is a double giant scenario. And you might think, what the heck is a double giant? That sounds awful. Well, basically on the very last wave, and that means also on all five of the final stand waves, uh, there is a chance that giants are gonna be spawning close enough together that you have to deal with two at the same time at the same gate. And we have enough firepower to deal with one, a second, probably not, which means both get through, they stomp my flamers and AoE them down, they die, then we've got nothing really holding these off, we get overwhelmed by all the little guys, and that is GG. I could easily see that happening. So we need to, I think, double up, almost, the number of arbalists and archers we currently have over here, which is somewhere on the order of... Eh, this looks to me like we had somewhere about like 28 or so ranged characters here. So yeah, if we can train up another 28 at five separate locations and then some, we should have a very easy wave with basically no challenge whatsoever. I'm not sure it's going to be able to work out that way, but that's what we're shooting for. So what am I trying to do right now? The answer is I need to find out where that fifth crystal is going to be. The fifth crystal matters because... Um, depending on where it is, that means there's a very strong chance that two waves in the final night are going to go to the same location. Which means not only do we have the risk of two giants spawning at the uh, same wave, we could have to deal with as many as three or even four. It's not very likely, but I mean, like, it could happen. So, knowing that that's the case, I really want to explore this area of the darkness on the right side of the map, since that's almost certainly where it's going to be. And we need to find out where the heck it is so I can try to plan around how am I going to deal with this so two waves don't crash on the same location. We had to deal with that already in the last run. It was unpleasant, to say the least. So I want to be prepared for it to happen again. I've already got another one of these nasty, stupid spitter guys. It's fine, though. I'll just let my hero kite, kite, kite all the way around him. He should be able to tank it. He's pretty high level at this point. Clear that out. Not that we need the extra rewards, but like, I'm never gonna be unhappy to see an elite, elite spitter gone, because those things scare the crud out of me under the best of circumstances. I will say, I think there's a very strong likelihood this ends up being the last video of this particular run. Four does seem to be about what ends up happening here. There's not much you're missing, aside from me just constantly training up units whenever I've got the gold, which is pretty often, and just hunting for that crystal. And then when we get to the last wave, I mean, pretty much immediately after that, and not exactly immediately, but very shortly after that, we have the final stand, and that's kind of it. Like, it really comes to a conclusion kind of all at once. So we're close to the end. Very, very close. And I feel almost ready for it. Ooh, another mother load gold pile over here in the very, very corner, huh? Yeah. Still not seeing the crystal, though. It's either... Usually you can see kind of a dark crater around it. Like down over here, for example. Uh, where was it? Actually, wait. Yeah, right over here, right? There's kind of this weird, dark, corrupted, crater-ish looking area around it. I'm looking for a big sign of corruption. I don't think it's there. I don't think it's down here. Where the heck is this thing? Oh, God. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is over here. Is that a chain? There it is. Okay, we finally found the last crystal. Good lord. What a pain that decided to become. Um, all right. So it was tucked away in a corner. Annoying as that is. Problem with this being in a corner is I really don't know where it's going to go. I suspect that it's going to go all the way around over here. This is where I think we're going to get hit. So the question is, is there another choke point that we can use that is a better spot to defend? And the answer is maybe right over here. Um, it's a bit far away from the base, which seems unusual, but I would much rather face them down over here and hopefully defeat them in this location, but have them delayed long enough to clear out this wave in this area so that we can clear them out the rest of the way if we fail. I'd rather just do that is what I'm trying to say. I'd rather, I'd rather face them head on 
in this area, way out over this direction, in the boonies, so to speak, and hopefully win. I think that's a better recipe for success for me. The crystal hath become unstable. Is there any reason not to just go ahead and kill it at this point? It's undefended, and it's spawning the Death Knight regardless, so like, let's just kill it for fun, and that way we can harvest all of its crystals and stuff. I don't know. We don't even need that. That's the thing. Like, there comes a point where there's really no need for more Dark Essence. I really don't know why you gather more at some point. There's more sources than you're ever going to really need in the game. Well, either way, this thing goes splody splu, and uh, there we go. The same Death Knight is going to spawn as before. Although, we seem to have antagonized a lot of the locals. Oh, uh, whoops. Also freed up a pretty large gold pile, which I'm hoping I can reclaim at some point, though it may be too late for that. Okay, I've got a lot of units trickling in now toward all these towers. Hopefully I didn't mess this up, and I've got my backup defenses. Plenty of flamers, because this is the largest front, so I think we're going to need the most help in this location. This is, of course, assuming that I'm not extremely wrong about where these guys are going to run. I just think this ends up making the most sense. So we've got a number of towers here, a few more on the way. So nine fully stocked, all these flamers are over here, okay. We'll bring some leftover guys over here just to be safe. One good and then this is going to be my honor guard for the hero, which who, to be honest, should not even be in this fight anymore. Um, if we can't win this without the hero here, then it means we're going to have trouble on all the other waves. So I'm going to assume that that's okay. What about a boom? And yes, they are going the direction I thought. Catalyzing injuries. Buildings destroyed have a chance. Ooh, wow. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Um, cool. All the more reason not to let a single building get destroyed. That, uh, well, okay. Except for these, obviously. But, but that's beside the point. So the flamers are still very much doing their job, which is good. I'm just kind of making sure these guys all get stacked up in areas that make sense. We shouldn't have to worry much about Horrify. I'll tell these guys to hold their ground. So one thing that's kind of weird about this strategy, right, is you would normally want to have, like, two or even three layers of walls for safety, but, like... If you do that, you kick the flamers further forward and out of range of the defensive towers. And that actually works against you, not for you. It's kind of weird. All right, how fast can we burn down one of these crusher giants? Uh, he's stunned, good. Come on, towers, do your thing. Okay, that's not quite as fast as I would have liked. Uh, he can get in and do a little damage. And here comes the second one. So we had barely enough time to actually deal with this. Yeah, those are the situations that could be a problem. But I, I think we're still sort of okay. It's just a bit risky. Case in point, this flamer actually is on the verge of death. We should pull him back just a smidge. Yeah, you need more defenses. Um, we need more arbalists. We need more of everything, frankly, in order to deal with the giants as they come through. Oh, boy. Not a good sign that we're still not quite done there. And this guy is really struggling here. Get rid of that horrify effect, for God's sake. It's gonna get a lot better as these guys get emboldened, though. This is one of the things, is I really want all of my flamers to get emboldened. Weirdly enough, this area over here actually is probably in some level of danger, only because they're not gonna be as strong as they need to be for the next wave. This is actually my weakest spot in the entire map right now. But so far, we're holding here, which is good. A uh, little concerned we might lose this flamer over here in a second. Definitely going to. Yep, okay. So, a few spitters here and there still can cause a bit of problems. <sighs> I'm using this as just test grounds to kind of figure out what am I going to need for the next big wave. That's all I'm trying to do is just watch this, analyze the data, see where I might be weak, and plan ahead. For the most part, this is still going really well. Don't get me wrong. We're doing fine. Oh, the lore, they just keep coming. This really is just like one giant undulating wave of, like, flesh, isn't it? Gosh, a single spitter getting through during a time when I have, um, a giant coming through is what's killing these flamers here, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Like, these spitters, if they can get off one or two shots, they can really hurt. And I may have to start spreading these guys out, just be safe. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. Let's go ahead and spread these guys out a little bit more. Um, we should still be okay. Let's just kind of intercept them where they're actually at. So, like, back up over here a little bit. There we go. Just bring them a little bit closer in range of the tower so we hopefully kill the spitters before they can just kill off all these guys in one fell swoop. Just a tiny bit more to go, and that'll be the end of wave five and the final prep we're going to get before the final stand. All right. We got through that without losing a single building and only losing, I think, a single flamer out of the entire arrangement. Was it perfect? No. But was it pretty good? Yeah. Units fully heal when they're horrified. 
What? Well, that only works if we're not emboldened, which is only going to help in a few cases, but what? Faster construction times or building vision radius? I mean, none of these help me, to be honest. Construction times is okay. I guess I'll take the vision radius, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, that means we now have 10 minutes to prepare for the final stand. And you all know exactly what I'm going to do. We have now tested the strategy, and it works. I just need to get enough gold together to finish building out all the towers we need. So, like, right over here, for example, I think this is going to end up being good enough for me. We should have plenty of turrets. I had to just kind of move some of the arbalists a little bit closer where I know they were hitting over here. And hopefully that means that I'll be able to snipe down things like the, um, the giants just a little bit faster. Over here, I've got the units. What I don't have is the money to start building out all the towers that She's I want. Which is kind of not the problem that I was expecting, but it's easily solved. If we're looking for money, all we've got to do is start selling off uh, some of the buildings out here we no longer care about. You know, this tower, for example. You can just go ahead and sell this thing, get refunded, and that's another 341 gold right there, for example. Get rid of the quarries we know are going to get destroyed. Get rid of the walls, uh, the farms, anything like that, and we can farm out a chunk more money. So it's not that it's really a problem. It just feels kind of like weird that of all the things that I'm gonna have issues with, it's not training units, it's gosh dang getting the towers up. Oh crud, I just realized, wait a minute, I've been reinforcing this area. This is where they attacked me. <gasps> Ooh, good thing I caught that when I've only got four minutes left and it's a good thing I get refunded on all the costs because uh, oh, whoopsies, we were about to reinforce the complete wrong area. The final stand is approaching. Oh no, we didn't see that coming literally 10 minutes ago. Uh, and I'm actually gonna have to reload the game, bizarrely enough, because uh, something's, something's gone wonky. There's no music, none at all. And you know, as, as oppressive as the intensifying music can be, um, no music at all just feels wrong. All right, now we got ourselves a bit of ambiance. And if anything, it's actually extremely tame. The game hasn't figured out yet. It's like it's waking up from a nap. And it's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. How we have, we have the, the final stand is on the way? Oh, my gosh. Brap. That's, that's what's going to happen. Oh, there we go. There's the drums we were looking for. Okay, all right. Now, now I'm getting in the mood. Okay, and this is it. Do I feel like I am completely ready? No, not entirely. There are at least a couple of areas where I was not able to train up enough units fast enough uh, because I had to sell some farms to get more gold, and the result is I lost all the, I lost all the food. 10% chance for military units killed to become nightmares. Well, that's not good, but at the same time, probably shouldn't be an issue. And yeah, 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 we're under attack in several locations. You can go ahead and sell off things like that extra farm and stuff right there. There's not much else to do except maybe build an occasional extra ballista or something. I mean, like, at this point, if I can't train up more units, it's the only option I've really got left. So if I see an opportunity, I'll go ahead and place down an extra one or two here and there. Should definitely go around and make sure that all towers, specifically archer towers or ballista, uh, arbalist towers, are set for attacking the strongest units, not the closest. That would be a problem. Up over here, honestly, this place has been fortified really well, so I feel good about that location. Down over here, again, mixed orders, but I think we're kind of okay here, too. Already under attack in this area, and the Flamers should be doing their job. They're coming in fast and hard, for sure. I got a lot of firepower behind me here, and these Crushers with over a thousand armor each. Yeah, those guys are going to be fun to deal with. Alrighty, and in some of these locations where things are getting destroyed, we might as well just go ahead and sell stuff. That way I don't technically lose some score for having had buildings destroyed. Though they could have distracted the mob for a little bit longer, and I don't know. If that's valuable to you, like, cool, but I don't care. So, like, how fast can we burn down one of these crushers right now? It's been stunned, so that's good. It's still able to get off a hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on. No, 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 wait a minute. If a crusher is able to get off a hit, that means I'm in trouble. <laughs> Um, 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 okay. We might have to do some micromanagement here and there just to force the towers to hit the crusher specifically. Um, <laughs> okay, now I'm a little bit nervous. The red guys are a little bit stronger, it turns out. Who knew? Oh, yeah, and here's exactly the situation I did not want. We've got two giants in the same area. 
Um, which means my flamers could get crushed here unless we can get a stun off like right now. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Hold the phone. Back her up. Oh, no, 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 no. Losing some flamers is bad. Losing flamers is very, very bad. Okay, hang on. We're going to keep these guys up over here, and I need to do some emergency training of extra I can't. I've got no food. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, hang on. Where's my, um, where'd my hero go? Wait, where'd my hero go? Did he die? Was he, he was up here. Where'd he go? Is he dead? He is dead. How dare you? I didn't even notice that. All right, revive the hero. Bring him up to this front. He has to help make up the difference with his powers. It's amazing. I was feeling really good about myself, but uh, that has changed oh so very fast. Yeah, gosh, these dang crushers are still so stupidly dangerous. Yeah, we're losing flamers over here too now. Oh, no. Um, all right, hang on. We've got to spread these guys out a little bit more for exactly that reason, that spitter shot we just saw fire off. Um, I really wish these guys had had a chance to get emboldened, I guess, before this all happens. I still need them to stun the crushers. That's the thing. They've got to be there. Are we still mostly holding? The answer's yes. Down over here, we've lost our flamers as well. Oh, man. Um, you need to pull back. I'd like to try not to lose the unit. If we have to have a second to kind of refresh ourselves, that's fine. And we lost him anyway somehow. Yup, 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 yup. Okay. Oh, uh, we lost the other one. Oh, no. Okay. This this just went to really, really bad really fast. Um, oh, no. I think we may need to do some emergency pullbacks on a couple of these guys. But they're so slow, and there's no way for them to get to the front safely. This is, uh, this is bad. This just got really bad. I banked everything on this strategy working. I mean, it's not over. We've, we've cleared out more than half of the enemies so far, so we're, like, getting somewhere. But all it's gonna take is a couple more really good pushes. Like, these walls are gonna start to fall. This is where we're gonna suddenly start buckling. Okay, knowing that that's true, hold on, knowing that that's true, um, let's go ahead and get an extra ballista or two. Anything just for some raw damage to slow them down, please and thank you. We're almost done clearing out some of these waves. Holy crud, even where we are falling apart here, this wave's almost exhausted itself. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, Hero, you still doing okay over there? Yes, you're still clearing a bunch out. Even one flamer still does tremendous damage. I mean, it's such a valuable unit. Even one with so much AoE does a ton. So I could have potentially left more of these flamers in reserve. And maybe that would have been the safer way to approach this. There's no denying that this is still... Oh, here's a double giant situation, by the way. Um, there's still no denying that this is going significantly better than my last run. So I still feel good about that. But it could be a little bit better. Amazingly, this is where it's all going to come down right here, actually. The first wave I think I had, wasn't that over here? And that's where it's going to be the worst, huh? Okay, um, yeah, we are on the verge of losing a few towers. We're trying real hard, though, if we can just burn down a few of those giants we got. Come on, last crusher right here. I think he's the last one on the map. If you guys can just focus this guy down sufficiently, we've got this. Come on, everything we've got on the giant, take him out. There we go, there we go, come on. Now you guys can clear out the rest of these spitters and stuff. Bunch of reinforcements are on the way. They're gonna start shooting over the walls. Had a random little guy pop up over here. That's just rude, get out of there. This area is looking clear. Over here, we are clear. Over here, just these last guys, and we did it. Holy crud, Hero, what are you doing? Just, just kill this little guy, please. Thank you. Did you run all the way through the fog? I think it might have. That was stupid. And at this point, we win, okay. All that's left are a couple of enemies that will have to despawn up over here that are very confused about what's going on, but we have won. We have made our final stand, and for the most part, for the most part, we did okay. There are still some areas where this could have been a lot better. And amazingly, I kept saying that we were good. We had all these units, I feel solid, and yet we still needed more in order to get a perfect victory there. Wow. Yeah, that goes to show just how gosh dang difficult the last wave really can be. But nonetheless, this is just leaps and bounds better than my last playthrough. So much better. We've learned a lot for sure, and I walked away with 531,000 as my final score. Don't remember what I had last time, but this feels pretty darn good, I think. 
We did lose too many units, in my opinion. 104 lost. That's because the cultists kind of sucked. And then toward the end, yeah, losing all the flamer flamers and stuff was a little bit unpleasant. And then a lot of units got horrified, but what can you do? Overall, though, look at that. 68,696 nightmares killed. Yowzas. Is Vizargo my favorite hero? No, probably not. Um, mainly because, honestly, I think that they're a little bit weaker on the defense than uh, the other factions. The Rebels have better archers, and the Order has just better defense. Vizargo's a cool character, for freaking sure, but the Volatists probably are not my favorite faction. Nonetheless, I had a lot of fun playing with them. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun watching this series, as much as I enjoyed playing it anyway, and I hope you guys agree that we've learned how to play the game, at least uh, a little bit more effectively. Now we gotta ramp things up again. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. If so, I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.